The rumpo is normally used by the fishermen in my village. When they go for fishing and they get they they they, they, they cast their net and waiting for you know for fish to trap it, they get sometimes they get lazy. They get lazy, they stood up and take and sing. Or sometimes when they had a shore, okay, dragging their dragging their, their boats from the water. See all the fishermen will line up holding a big rope tied with the canoe or the boat in rhythm. The special person who have this one, they're singing and they all respond to motivate and give the energy to pull out the boat from the water. We call it dorumpo. Apart from that, this instrument, people call it the banana bell because it has a banana shape. <laughs> we call it chini. When you mix with this, this and the bell and the shaker together, it sounds amazing. So very soon, we are going to experience that. There are other shakers. Shakers in Africa, it's like a lullaby instrument for children. So mothers use it a lot when the baby is crying. And you do this. It works like magic. Stop crying at once. And all of a sudden, start... <laughs> they like it. And we call it we call it Bambala. This one. When you're singing very quietly, we use this style. Game Boy, you like it. <laughs> These instruments are part of our life. In my village, we don't watch television. Children don't watch television. No Xbox, no iPad, no tablet, no computer games, no Dora, no this sort of stuff. Don't. <laughs> Children use the instrument a lot. Instead of watching television, they play the musical instrument. You have other string instruments. Some of the instruments look like a harp. We call it Kora. It's like a half. 21 strings. We use this and this. Play. So many. Other instruments, children use it as a game. And I have one here today. 